Welcome Aquarius and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 20th of September through to Sunday the 26th of September 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side will be your crowning wisdom message cards. So Aquarius let's jump straight in and see what your overarching crowning message is for the week ahead. Okay, so your channeled message, uh, Aquarius, during the pre-shuffle and meditation for your reading, um, you are definitely connecting with your soulmate. So whoever it is you are thinking about, uh, they are definitely coming in as your soulmate. But there's something that either you want to talk about um, and you're picking up their defensive or your defensive, okay? Um, they weren't really clear on that, um, but they're, one of you is defensive over some sort of conversation. Um, the guidance that was coming in was um, that give the situation some time. Um, you may be trying a little bit too hard. Um, trust your heart because you deep down, you actually know what the answer is and follow that light within you. Trust that it will help you with regards to whatever it is that's going on with you and the person that you're connecting with. All right. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning message to the question? How does the soulmate of Aquarius? Thank you. Wow, you are ready. Okay, so with this you are ready card, uh, Aquarius, I feel as if um, you're ready to have a conversation, but you know that um, it's it, so I would say it's the person that you're connected to that is um, potentially going to be uh, a little bit defensive. OK, but if you look in that, look for that light within you, deep down, you already know the answer. OK, um, so trust that you're ready. You're ready to act or to talk uh, with regards to what your heart is already telling you the answer to. All right. My angels, thank you. And the next one is remain positive. OK, so I feel as if um, even though you may feel that the person that you're connecting with might be a bit defensive over some sort of conversation that I feel that you want to have. You're certainly ready for it. Remain positive. Um, trust that you know deep down um, what direction um, you need to take with regards to this conversation. Keep your vibration up because something is blossoming, okay? Something I feel is there's growth. So whatever the conversation is, uh, keep positive. Know that you're ready if you follow that light within you and trust what your heart is saying. Some of you may be trying too hard and, and your spirit team is coming in to say you don't need to. You're ready to have the conversation that needs to be had, even if um, your person, whoever you're connecting with, um, is you may feel that um, they are protective or defensive, all right? But remain positive. And one more card, please. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Thank you. Oh, wow. And then we've got, listen to your intuition. Absolutely. So I feel that this is just letting us know to follow that light within you. Okay. It's not going to lead you astray. And deep down in your heart, you already know the answer. So listen to that intuition. Um, I feel that your spirit team is definitely uh, speaking to you, guiding you uh, with regards to some sort of conversation um, that uh, I feel that, yeah, that you want to have, but you might, for some of you, do you know something? It might be that you need to surrender to having the, uh, the conversation and remain positive. But it's something that you do want to, um, it's a conversation you do want to have with this person. I'm also picking up that you may also be manifesting, wishing, hoping, praying for guidance. 
You're ready. You're ready to have the conversation. You're ready to say whatever it is you need to say. Remain positive. Listen to your heart and follow that light within you, okay? My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your crowning wisdom message? Please, to the question, how does the soulmates of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 20th of September through to Sunday the 26th of September 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Aquarius that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me? Thank you. Okay, so we have got... Let's just have a look at this card. Oh, look at that. Now, isn't it interesting because the blue that's coming in here is all around your throat chakra. So it's talk. It's, it's a, some talking that needs to happen. And it says here, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So uh, Aquarius is, um, whatever it is, this conversation that you want to have, so I was right, it might actually be you that's um, defensive or protective over something. Whoever you're connecting with, are they doing or saying something that um, is upsetting you in some shape, form or another? And is that why you're trying too hard? Your emotions are, um, yeah, I feel that you're being guided to balance out those emotions because you are ready to have the conversation. Um, let go any resentment. Whatever it is, your heart already knows the answer, all right? Your heart already knows the answer. Follow the light. Follow the light within you because whatever it is you're speaking or whatever it is you want to have a conversation about, remain positive. So if this person is not doing something or saying something, let go of that resentment because that's where you're going to have and that's where that remain positive is coming in. You already know the answer. You already know the answer. And for many of you, it might be that your emotions are running a little bit a little bit out of whack all right but i feel that you are ready to have the conversation you are trust and believe in that trust and believe that your spirit team will speak to you um through your heart chakra um and and let your light shine out okay listen to that intuition and trust that your spirit team have got your back all right aquarius is if this message is resonating for you already Please feel free to um, click that thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push the video out to other Aquariuses. And if you do choose to subscribe, um, it does enable you to receive notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, Aquariuses, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance. Uh, existing subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Uh, thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's truly, truly appreciated. And I really hope that you uh, receive a uh, useful and meaningful message from this week's reading. Okay, let's have a look and see what's going on. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 20th of September through to Sunday the 26th of September 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Aquarius that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all?
as above, so below, and all around me, thank you. Aquarius is any of the cards that jumped out in your pre-shuffle, if they come out during this reading, I will call them out for you, okay? All right, let's do this, my angels and spirit guides of the divine. <clears throat> thank you. Wow, okay, so we've got the death card, transformation, change. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart, thank you. And we've got the Knight of Wands, <coughs> excuse me, the Knight of Wands in reverse. So whoever you are connecting with, they do want some sort of change. Um, uh, they are going through uh, uh, some sort of change, but with this... Um, with this Knight of Wands in uh, reverse, they are frustrated over something, maybe a little bit pessimistic over something that um, I feel um, that need they, they want to change, something that needs to be transformed. And I feel as if that's why you're being guided to remain positive and let go any resentment. This person is frustrated. Listen to your intuition, um, Aquarius, because whatever it is that your emotions are, um, are, are saying to you or whatever is, um, I feel that there is a little bit of distortion in your perception and if you've had this conversation with this person before they're getting a bit frustrated with it a little bit pessimistic that transformation um that there's going to be change that it feels as if you're saying the same thing and the seven of wands okay so uh, i feel that both of you do want to fight for this connection Okay, this is definitely your soulmate that you're connecting with, the Four of Swords, yeah. So for many of you, uh, whatever is going on, uh, I feel that you're in healing, you're, you're in healing. Um, now, normally you would see um, somebody lying on um, like, a, like a, a marble slat, a slate or something, with three swords and then one sword kind of horizontal, um, which represents um, that there's been some sort of heartache and healing, okay, healing is required. Um, right now, um, you're being guided, I feel, to ground yourself. And it almost feels as if, um, it almost feels like you need to balance out your emotions. There's something that's upsetting you, um, Aquarius is. But you're ready, you are ready to have the conversation. Remain positive and the transformation will happen. Let's continue. But this, this sword is about conversations as well. Commun communication, a magician, wow. So the magician is what came up in your pre-shuffle. So I feel that you are manifesting healing around uh you and the person that you're connecting with but there's something that's distort distorted in your perception and that's what i feel that you need to balance out heal some of you um i feel that you're being guided to go into some meditation connect with divine spirit universe do you remember what i was saying with your channeled message deep in your heart you already know the answer and listen to that um listen listen to that listen to that intuition that's come in in your crowning message but your channeled message was all about um it was all about listening to what's in your heart and following the light within you. It will guide you. Many of you may need to do some meditation or prayer or fasting or something like that to connect, to clear out any kind of distortion and any kind of resentment that you do have. All right. Um, but this person is a little bit pessimistic. They're not, they're not, um, yeah, a little bit frustrated, but... What's really positive is that with that seven of wands, um, I feel that you both do want to fight for this connection, okay? But it also could uh, represent here that both of you are a little bit guarded to have any kind of conversation. Hmm. Let's have a look at your clarifiers. But you are manifesting... 
manifesting healing and the four of pentacles so whoever you're connecting with i feel that they um are thinking about you they don't want to let go of this connection so okay so this is definitely the two of you wanting to fight for this connection they do want transformation they may be going through transformation um over something i feel that the two of you have spoken about before all right um they don't want to let you go i feel that they are thinking about you um all the time you're in their minds you're in their heart they want to let go of you all right but they do want some transformation or they are going through transformation and i feel a bit of a rebirth they want tra i feel like they want transformation or do they want to transform themselves because there's something that you do want to talk to them about but remain positive thank you wow okay so this person is somebody um that either you are in a long-term relationship or you're married to or that they do want long-term um they want a long-term relationship marriage okay that's what they're thinking about um so there's something that they want to transform or they're going through transformation let's continue it's that knight of wands feeling frustrated a little bit pessimistic um oh let me just see what this is saying Okay, the two of swords in the reverse and five of wands in reverse. That's really interesting that those two are coming out in reverse. So, this person wants transformation. They're thinking about you. Some of you either are married to this person in long term long term uh, commitment but they want something to change they want something to change but they're frustrated pessimistic um with the two of swords in reverse they are conflicted over something fearful or confused fearful or confused um and that's why they're feeling frustrated okay uh with that five of wands coming in reverse i feel as if um there's doubt they have some sort of doubt over some sort of conversation that they want some sort of transformation over this connection hmm. so they're doubting something and that's why they're frustrated pessimistic frustrated and pessimistic Mm. conflicted pessimistic fearful are they fearing that transformation between the two of you won't happen mm. let's continue my that, oh thank you okay gosh you guys are getting a lot of uh reversals okay so the knight of wands um in reverse so this person isn't taking action to fight for this connection right now because i feel that they are fearful doubtful a little bit frustrated i feel that they want transformation it's like they want to come out of this 
it's like this person wants to come out of this energy of frustration, pessimistic. Yeah. Again, frustration, pessimism. To fight for this connection. Justice in reverse. So whoever you're dealing with, you could be dealing with a Libra or you could have Libra in your chart, Aquarius. But with that justice in reverse, um, there's some sort of, um, justice in reverse is about uh, uh, dishonesty, dispute, lack of accountability, so you feel as if this person is not taking accountability to fight for this connection. They are frustrated, pessimistic, doubtful, fearful to fight for this connection. And it almost feels as if um, you feel that they that, that that's the dispute. That's the dispute that's going on between the two of you. It almost feels as if you both want to fight for the connection, but you're it's like you don't believe that they want to fight for this connection. But many of you may have had this conversation with them before and they do want to transform. They want a rebirth. They want a new beginning, transformation. Because they do think about you quite a lot. See you as long-term commitment, marriage material. Some of you might be married to this person already. But they're pessimistic, fearful, doubtful. And I, I feel that that's the dispute with the justice in reverse. Thank you. Oh my gosh. And we've got the look at the amount of reversals. You may resent this person for what you perceive as them not fighting for this connection. And that is where I feel that you're, that's where the distortion is coming from, Aquarius, if I'm being really, really honest, because you both want to fight for this connection. And I feel that this person is feeling frustrated because they may not be fighting for the connection in the way that you want them to fight for the connection. And that is the distortion because they do. And that's where I feel that they are frustrated because it almost feels as if you remember I said in your channeled message, um, give it some time because you may be trying too hard. It almost feels as if you're trying too hard to get them to demonstrate to you that they want to fight for this connection and actually in their mind they're already fighting for it does that make sense it's almost as if your perception of what constitutes fighting for a connection is a little bit distorted and there may be some resentment on your part because you feel that they aren't fighting for this connection in some shape, form or another. But they are. In their minds, they are. With that Knight of Swords coming in reverse. Um, do you remember I said to you this is like healing? Because you're feeling weak. The Knight of Swords in re reverse is weak. A little bit impatient. And that's what you need to heal out your your channeled message is so on point it's unbelievable because it's almost as if there's a massive distortion that's going on between the two of you and i feel as if if you give it time 
and allow healing because you're feeling quite weak at the moment. Give it some time. That's when you'll be ready. Um, but right now your energy and this person's energy is very low vibrational. And so that's why it's that they're saying with your um, channeled message, give it some time. You're trying too hard. And um, if you listen to your intuition, listen to what your heart is saying. The light, the light within you will guide you. It's really important to remain positive over some sort of conversation. Thank you. Wow. Okay. So I feel that this person does want to come in and offer that olive branch. They want a new beginning. And guess what? You are manifesting a new beginning. They want a new beginning, but you, it's like you need to go through healing. You need to be healed um, in some shape, form or another. Healing of your emotions, because I do feel Aquarius. Um, your your crowning wisdom uh, message uh, is, is really on point. It really does feel as if you're the one that's distorted at the minute. I feel that this person does want to come in, in and offer an olive branch to heal the connection. They may know that you're feeling quite weak at the moment, okay? But you are manifesting a new beginning, a fresh start. So you're both on the same page in terms of, I feel, um, wanting a new beginning, knowing that something needs to change. And that is resonating with both of you do want to fight for this connection. But for some reason, you're feeling quite weak. You're feeling as if this person isn't fighting for the connection. But that's just your perception. That's why you need to remain positive. And that's when you'll be ready to talk. A lot of people seem to be coming up with that at the moment. Well, I shouldn't say a lot. I've only just done Pisces. Um, but the collective and um, and your reading all seems to be about taking some time out before talks happen. And it's no different for, for you. And with the devil card in reverse, um, uh, I feel as if... Uh, the devil card in reverse, again, is transformation. It's like you are, it's like you're blocking. It's like you're blocking transformation, blocking this new beginning because your emotions are distorted because you feel that this person doesn't want to fight for this connection. And I gen genuinely feel that they do. They do want to fight for this connection. I feel that they are fighting for this connection, but how they are um, fighting for it, it almost feels as if it's not to the standard that you would, if that makes sense. And that is the distortion that's going on here. With that devil card, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could have Capricorn in your chart. But it almost feels as if this distortion is what is blocking this new beginning. So you're manifesting and your team are saying, your spirit team are saying, trust that light, trust and listen to your intuition. Because deep down in your heart, you already know the answer. That was your channeled message. So you already know the answer, even though you're feeling weak. Some of you may be in healing. This person does want to come towards you and offer that olive branch. They want a new beginning. They do want to take action towards you. But it feels as if, like, they, it's like they don't know what else to do because they feel quite frustrated, a bit pessimistic, that actually uh, there will be transformation. I feel like they're trying to stay positive because they're thinking about you, thinking about this long-term commitment, thinking about... Uh, you as marriage material but they're yeah they're a little bit pessimistic at the minute let's have a look and see what your um advice messages are Aquarius my angels and spirit guides thank you 
wow, look at that, you're on the right path. The way ahead is clear and true. You've chosen the path, the right path for you. So whatever it is you want to talk about, you are ready. You are ready, but you just need to clear out this pessimism, distortion. But whatever it is that you want to talk about regarding fighting for this connection, you are on the right path. But it's just almost like you need to change your mindset and remain positive. And then we've got, so we've got the two that have come out here. So we've got four leaf clovers. You have found a four leaf clover. Unlucky times will soon be over. What did I just say? So you, whatever it is that's going on between the two of you, you're definitely out of whack. OK, um, I feel that uh, you do, both do want to fight for this connection. There is a conversation that needs to be had. You're on the right path. You are ready for it, but you need to remain positive. Listen to your intuition. Follow that light within you. Deep down in your heart, you do know the answer. But right now, the wisdom that's coming in is that there's something that you're distorted about. The perception of how this person is fighting for this connection is what's distorted. And that possibly is what needs healing. All right. And then we've got backpack. Get your compass. Adventure is yours. Get out of the city and enjoy the outdoors so for many of you do you remember i saying that you may need to go into a bit of meditation to heal to uh, allow divine spirit universe your higher self to balance out your emotions uh, before you speak to this person um many of you may need to just um just just go just just go away for the weekend or take a couple of days or take a day out um and just go and walk in nature meditate um Keep yourself grounded, uh, connect with Mother Earth, uh, Divine Spirit Universe, however you do that. So it can clear out your energy space, but remain positive. I feel as if it's, it's weird because it feels as if this reading, in essence, is positive. You are definitely on the right path and you are ready to have the conversation. I just feel that you need to almost change your mindset because this person is feeling really frustrated, a little bit pessimistic, a little bit doubtful that there, there will be transformation over a conversation. I feel that you guys have already had. It's like it's the same conversation that's coming round again. But you're on the right path because obviously uh, it's coming around again because it needs to be had, basically in order to fight for this connection but it's how you it's how you address it uh, aquarius it's what's going on within you listen to your heart follow that light and clear out any uh, pessimism or distortion of what you constitute this person as fighting for this connection because that's what's distorted at the moment Okay, I'm going to leave that there for you, uh, Aquarius. Um, if it does resonate, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, my lovelies, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.